Okay, so let's um, <clears throat> let's get started. So at last Saturday's um, <clears throat> monthly alignment meeting, I shared an excerpt from Robin Sharma's training video, uh, Build Your Legacy. So I'm going through this video almost on a daily basis. If you see my daily email, I report my learnings from that. And last Saturday, I talked about what he said about extreme achievement truth number four, which is to double your income and your impact, triple your investment in professional education and personal development. He said, when I coach and advise the billionaires, famed entrepreneurs and industry titans, they secretly confide that a daily devotion to learning and growth has been the advanced game changer for them. World-class performers are so different. They focus less on entertainment and more on education, understanding that when they think better, they can do better. And when you know more, you can achieve more. Robin Sharma says, you see, the average performer is all about leisure. The best performer is all about learning. So this book that we are looking at now, Think and Grow Rich, is by Napoleon Hill. And it's a combined knowledge about how to become successful from some of the greatest minds of the 20th century. A result of nearly 30 years that Napoleon Hill spent interviewing these great man, men. So you have secrets uh, to success. And as I share some of these, you will say, hey, actually, I, I know all of this. Well, that's why you are here listening to this. You know, there are some things that are working in your life. But, you know, how can you be more successful? So, you know, we get to learn from these legendary men and, and women. So last week when I introduced Think and Grow Rich, I suggested that the book has an one all-encompassing idea. And that is in order to do great things, whether it be to accumulate great riches or any other goal, we have to enroll and harness the power of our subconscious mind. We discussed three basics of the subconscious mind. One, the conscious mind controls the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind controls the subconscious mind. Secondly, the subconscious mind is always working. And three, number three, the subconscious mind is objective. Okay. Now, today I will continue to share uh, a lot of the thoughts from the YouTube video by a chap called Mani Vaya, the founder of 2000books.com, where he summarizes uh, Think and Grow Rich, which actually has got 16 uh, chapters. Okay, so he's doing us a favor by summarizing the key thoughts here. So now that we understand our subconscious mind a little better, how do we get about programming our subconscious mind for, for great success? Okay. How do we create that burning desire that literally turns on the power of the subconscious mind in our favor and makes us unstoppable? And here are five keys to do exactly that. The first key is we must have a definite purpose. Okay. First of all, we must have a definite purpose. We must become very clear on what we want, on the specific goal we want. Okay. The clearer the purpose or end goal, the easier it is to get there. Only when we are clear about our goal can we program that goal into our subconscious mind. If you provide your subconscious mind with no clear purpose or goals, you will get no real power from it. It will be like a giant ship with immense power, but without any destination to aim for. What's the use of a ship without a clear destination? A lot of people have these vague goals about maybe becoming rich or losing weight, but these goals are so vague that it's almost useless. You have to be very clear. You have to have a very clear goal, a very clear dollar amount that will help you harness the power of your subconscious mind because it allows you to focus your effort and it gives you clarity of direction, clarity of making decisions. Okay. So this is not new 
uh, at all to you. You know, every day when you key in your uh, destination in your GPS, you know, it's an exact destination. It's not somewhere in Amokyo or what. Okay. Now, the second key is the power of auto suggestion. Okay. Second key to programming your subconscious mind is to use the power of auto suggestion. Auto suggestions are deliberately designed statements or commands you give to yourself, also known as affirmations. Once you know what you want, you must repeat that command to your subconscious mind over and over and over and over and over and over again. No end to it. There's no end to maintaining your garden and you have to keep on doing this. You never stop doing it, so you keep on repeating these affirmations to yourself, these auto-suggestions to yourself over and over again. Number three, the power of emotions. Okay? The third key to program your subconscious mind is to use the power of emotions to direct your subconscious mind. Now, it is not enough to just think about your goals and repeat them. You must mix those thoughts of your goals with emotions. The emotions you want to feel when the goal will be accomplished. The subconscious mind only understands the language of emotions. Emotionless thoughts do not affect the subconscious mind. Subconscious mind does not understand the language of logic or reason. So any language you use to program your subconscious mind has to involve emotions. You have to feel the feelings in order to be able to program your subconscious mind. You must mix your thoughts with positive emotions or thoughts mixed with negative emotions will unfortunately reach your subconscious mind by default. Thoughts mixed with emotions have a magnetic force to them in the sense that they attract similar thoughts and emotions. Positive emotions will keep on attracting more of these positive thoughts more of these positive emotions. Your job is to minimize the inflow of negative and disempowering thoughts and emotions and to instead program your subconscious with deliberately designed positive and empowering thoughts, emotions and feelings. You know, and this is where we, we, we say, you know, don't have a pity party. When you feel bad, you just talk to people who make you feel reinforce how you're you're feeling bad because that's just reinforcing negative thoughts. Okay. Now, when we can consistently minimize the inflow of negative and disempowering thoughts and emotions, that's when we have the key to unlocking our subconscious mind. Okay, the fourth key is visualization and acting as if. Okay. Visualization and acting as if. In order to program our subconscious mind, we must see and feel the goal as if the goal is already accomplished, that you already have what you desire. Ask yourself, how would you act if you had already accomplished your goal? How would you feel? What would you do? What feelings would dominate your mind? The key to visualization is actually be able to see and feel yourself as having already accomplished the goal rather than thinking of it as a distant possibility. So if you have a goal of making a million dollars by December the 31st of next year, visualize yourself on 31st December as having already accomplished that goal. Don't think of it as something you would like to accomplish in the future. That is creating the feeling of not having the goal right now. Instead, feel that it is 31st December of next year right now and you have already accomplished the goal. This point cannot be emphasized enough. And to be honest, that is the, you know, um, that is the part that requires uh, work. It's not just writing it down, it's actually playing it through uh, in the workshop of the mind. The fifth key to programming your subconscious is persistence and repetition, okay? Persistence and repetition. What is the price of being able to harness the power of your subconscious mind? It is, as Napoleon Hill says, everlasting persistence and thoughts mixed with emotions, mixed with faith. 
endless repetition of that desire mixed with positive emotions and mixed with faith. No matter what the circumstances, no matter what you see externally in the world, there is no lower price we can pay. We must consistently persist and repeat these thoughts over and over and over again. We must decide to program our subconscious mind and there is no end to it. We have to do it over and over and over again. The amazing thing is that as you begin to increase your thoughts about that goal and you mix it with your positive emotions, what will happen is those thoughts and those emotions will begin to attract more of such thoughts and emotions until you become completely charged with this thought pattern with these emotions. Now, isn't this exactly what Op Mandino says in Scroll One of the greatest salesmen in the world? Scroll One, he talks about the habit of repeating each scroll three times daily for 30 days. And, you know, for the people who have a religion, the Christians you ask, or any other religion, they ask to meditate on these words, gates. So it's going through your mind into your subconscious. So what I've done is just briefly talk about the five keys to programming your subconscious mind. Okay. It's elaborated in, in the book, you know, in the 16 chapters, uh, and maybe we will, or we will examine each chapter. Okay, we'll see. 